How's it going lads? We're back for another video and it's another player review and today it is Miguel Oizabal, 86 rated left mid card with 83 pace, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 85 dribbling and 65 physical. High attacking work rate, medium defensive, 5 for 11 but three star skills and three star weak foot really do let this guy down honestly he's he's good at a lot of things but he just isn't great at anything and that's the biggest issue and with the three star skills and the three star weak foot i just really don't think he's usable he's discard if you pack to me is 86 rated definitely keep him for sbc fodder but i don't recommend using him i mean i played okay with him but when I'm pushing the ball into him, he can, you know, he can do something because he does have okay stats. As we look at his in-games, you know, definitely with a Hunter card, he's getting that plus eight boost. I think if he was on 10 chemistry, he'd get like maybe plus 10 boost. So you're looking at 81 base, so 91, 93. He's quick. The agility isn't great. You see, you need to boost the pace and the dribbling. Is there a chemistry style that does that? No, maybe an engine. But you really want that. Honestly, it depends on when you play him, honestly. Uh, sort of maybe as a cam. But it's, then you go back to the skill moves. Like, there's always something that just isn't quite right. He's got 84 stamina, 76 composure. It's just, there's just a lot of sort of issues. He's a great passer of the ball, you know, 89 vision, 86 crossing, 85 short passing. Maybe as sort of a left mid in a 4 4 2, that might be his best position. I played him at striker and cam. In a 4 1 2 1 2, and it just wasn't for me. But now let's check out some highlights. I really do feel that if this card had four star, four star, and definitely the weak foot, because obviously skill moves definitely comes down to your play style. I do feel that they're very useful, but if you don't use skill, I mean, he can have one star skill moves, who cares? But the weak foot, it's just an issue. But once again, I think it could be down to the position that I'm playing him in. If you played him as a left mid who maybe crossed the ball, he does have good crossing stats at 86. You know, you stick a hunter card on him, he's quick, but he's not that blistering pace. You know, he's not that great player. Great pass there. You know, he's, he's going to make goals, he's going to create things, but for an 86 rated card, I'm not so sure he's worth it, honestly. I mean, this is a nice little move, lovely little shot, but he's definitely some, as with all people with three star weak foot. You better be shooting with their weak foot, their strong foot, or you're going to have some serious issues. But overall, I really do not recommend this card. I really think he's very average, really. I mean, sure, he scored goals, and that goal was just like, that goal was frankly lucky. When I look back at the replay of that, I aimed to one corner where the goalkeeper and defender was. And for some reason, it was just so bad that it went in. So, I mean, sure, he scored a weak foot goal, but it just really wasn't great. His passing was his strong suit, honestly. I don't know if the left mid's the best position for him. I also think maybe if you knew his limitations, playing him at camp could work. Definitely if you weren't a skiller or if you did any sort of skilling at all, because obviously four star would work. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.